big deal. I'm just living my best life. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in today. I'm gonna get right into it. So today is gonna be the introduction to the makeup aspect and beauty aspect of my channel. Because my channel is going to be a lifestyle channel. So I'm gonna do a little bit of everything with y'all. I think I mentioned that in my first video, my first vlog video. So if you haven't watched it, please go watch it right now. Hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and you're coming to look at my videos. Cause I know a lot of y'all be looking, but you ain't subscribing. So that's not helping. I'm just kidding. Do you boo for real, but no, for real. I'm not really, I would say I'm just not an expert when it comes to makeup. Let's just, Put it right out there like that. I'm not an expert. Um, I probably, my daily makeup routine is probably three to five minutes, I swear. I don't like to do that much. I usually just, if my bags are dark, I usually put some under here and maybe a little bit of mascara. I always do my eyebrows, but today they're not done. So excuse me, excuse the face and the hair. I decided not to get ready again today. So y'all are just getting me how you getting to get me, right? Um, but anyways. I'm gonna introduce you guys to my makeup side because I kind of want to do like a learn with me channel and so you guys can kind of learn along the way with me and if there's I know there's a lot of people that are like me and don't really do their makeup and don't really know what they're doing when they go into the makeup store I get overwhelmed when I go into Ulta or Sephora or anything like I really just go to Walmart or I go to the drugstore and I get my makeup I'm pretty, I'm pretty basic but that's okay for everybody else that shop like me it's okay to be you because that's me but of course I would love to like learn a little bit more about makeup maybe be able to go into Sephora Ulta and not get so overwhelmed and actually be able to get stuff I mean I've played around I really love highlight I'm into wing eyeliner so I kind of know like the things that draw my eye but when it comes to like doing a full face of makeup I don't know when it comes to concealer and like high uh, what the contour I know where highlight go go on my cheekbones my nose and I usually put it like right here but anyways I decided to subscribe to this box called Ipsy. It's a makeup box. You get it every month um, when you subscribe or subscribe and follow them. Um, and they have like different ones. Um, I had started off with the twelve dollar one, which is the cheapest. But what I didn't like about that one is you only got swatch and like little products. You didn't get full size products. And like I got like a highlight from them, and it was just like a little swatch. So I was like, mm, what's kind of like the point of that? So I upgraded, and the box I get every month is a twenty-five dollar box. It's really cool. It comes with five full products, and you can go and go on Ipsy and actually customize what you like. Um, if you're not really into lip lipstick, like I'm not, because I have no lips whatsoever. Look at them; they're non-existent. But I don't really do lipstick. I mean, I like lip gloss, and maybe some lip plumper. I think your girl could use some lip plumper. But I'm really into brushes, eyeliner, highlight, and I would love to get into the whole like face beat, you know, like the whole step by step, a full face makeup type thing. But here in Texas, I realize I don't know how girls even like be walking around with full face of makeup because it's so humid here. In Alaska, it's dry as fuck. I just swore. But in Alaska, it's super dry, so like. I've never had to deal with this and good thing I'm like not a normal makeup person and I'm already a naturally sweaty person so it bothers me. Why would you put on a full face makeup if you're just going to sweat it off? But I guess there's things to fix that and hopefully one day I'll learn about it. But here we go. So I do Ipsy. I subscribe to a $25 box. It comes with five full products um, and I'm going to be showing you guys my July box because I think I've gotten like four boxes from them so I'm going to show you after I show you this July box. Some of the other products I got from them and I actually really like. Because for someone who doesn't really know anything about makeup, I thought this would be the first good step to learn about makeup and figure out what I like. Maybe learn about some new brands. So in my July box, um, it looks like they got me and I haven't opened any of this yet. It's been like almost a month and I haven't even used it because I've been wanting to make a video out of it. And I want to continue. But anyways, um, I got some brushes. It came with three brushes. Um, I haven't even opened them yet, so I guess we'll just open them up. You can use your little teeth. You don't need no scissors. Uh, okay, let's see what they gave me. 
I love brushes too. I need new brushes because I had a cat before I moved here. Oh, God bless my cat. Cardi, miss her. I had to leave her back in Alaska. Couldn't fly her here. But she chewed on all my freaking, all these. And then my sister has a wiener dog that used to come over. My nephew, Ruger, miss him, my nephew. He's a little wiener dog. But he used to come over and he would chew on all my stuff too. So I kind of like need some new brushes because they got messed up. So this is cool. I've been needing these. But they look really nice. So they got like a blue hue to them. Oh, so they're, they cute. Looks like they gave me a little more of like a fluffy fluff one. Um, this one's like a smaller one. Got that blue heel. Yeah. They feel soft. I like that. And then like a little fanny brush. I like that. I'm not sure what each brush is like meant for, but you know, we'll figure it out. I would maybe, I'd probably use this one for like some highlight on the cheekbones. This is probably like something to like smooth out like some concealer or something. And then this probably looks like some type of blending, some type of blending brush. Maybe you guys can tell me a little bit about it. But it looks like, um, this is the brand. It says Be Beautiful, Be You by F-A-R-A-H. So that's cool. Got some new brushes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, it looks like another thing I got in from the Ipsy box was three face masks so we came out winning did we not only just get five products but we got three of one so face masks are always good i should probably get better at doing that i don't do them very often so i need to get better at that yeah, maybe i'll use one tonight and i'll put a little a little snip clip in there but this is called the mid flower hydronic acid moisturizing mask zero percent preservatives and conservators so that's cool the next product i got is color boss this is it looks like some eyeshadow um it says multi-dimensional eye color so cute box okay heavy duty cute that looks like my type of color too like a top a natural i like to go like all natural so okay it's pretty sparkly kind of like a rose gold I guess we can put a little there's the camera oh there it is I guess you guys can't see it my lighting sucks but yeah that's pretty I might use that because I like a very subtle I don't really do eyeshadow but I would use this for like a compliment on the face the next one some super eight lip oil by Yensa. That's pretty. Some lip oil. Okay. That's cool. I don't think I've ever used lip oil, but I imagine it's just kind of like some lip gloss. Oh, and it's cute. I'm all about the pink. Yes, that's cute. I'm about to put it on right now. I can even open it. Mm. It smells like watermelon. I like it though. It's cute. I don't know what it does. I'm about to we'll have to figure it out. And last but not least, one of my favorite things to do with my face every day is eyebrows. It says 60 seconds to beautiful brows. 60 seconds. Okay, let's see what they talk about. Oh, see, I don't know. This is a little brush. It comes with a brush, though. That's always good to have, like, a eyebrow brush. Because I swear, I had one from Ulta that was, like, $18. And I lost it, and I was so mad. So this one, this one just came with it. That's cool. And I usually use, like, an Anastasia dip brow. That's, like, my normal go-to. But recently, in one of my other um, Ipsy boxes, I got a new eyebrow brush and pencil on it. I really love it, and I use that, like, from here on out. Um, but this one looks nice. I guess I'll have to test it out one time. Let's take a look. Oh, see, this is, like, more powdery. I've never really used a powder on my eyebrow. But I imagine it wouldn't, like, stick very well. I don't know. That's cool, like a filler in her. I might use that. That, that might come in handy one day. And the last thing I forgot to mention, so you get like five full items, but you also always get um, a little makeup bag that comes with it. 
So this is like from one of the months. It's cute, little makeup bag. And then I got this one. And then I got this one. So yeah, you get like cute little makeup bag. And then I'm gonna show you guys some of the other products that I really like that I got. Um, this one is the eyebrow pencil I was talking about that I use. And it looks like it's already scratched off. I can't even read what it is, but this is like what it looks like. It's got this on one end. And then it's got like a brush on the other end. I really like this one. Um, because the Anastasia dip out is really cool. But it can be very um, dramatic sometimes I felt like. So this is like a little more like natural. Because I like to go with more of a natural look. Um, and then I also got some of my favorite eyeliners. Because I love doing a wing eyeliner. But I'm really picky about um, like the brush. I used to use a Kat Von D one. And that was like one of my favorites. But I got super drunk at my work Christmas party and lost it. And that was like really sad, but I subscribed to Ipsy, Ipsy, I subscribed to Ipsy and got a new one to try out. And I actually got two other ones, but I haven't tried these ones. Um, this one's really nice um, because it's got like this end. Yeah, kind of like a pencil end. So like probably like to fill in. I don't really, yeah, I don't really use that end. But then this is the brush and that's what I like. It's kind of hard to see, but... A nice tip to make like a really nice and fierce cat cat eye you know and then I also got like this little one so this would be good for like my purse and that's got like a really small one too I like that yeah like for a basic one yes and then this is the other one this one's like super long the other thing though you have to look for with Eyeliners though is if they smear because that's like my big problem is I've tried a couple before like these um, I don't know what you call this like liquid eyeliner, but they get really smeary. So like if it's close to your like Crease it just like smears onto the top and I hate that, you know, like a night out Like I don't want to worry about looking like a raccoon. You know what I mean? But yeah, I really do like this one and this one is Tarte yeah, so that's a I've, I think I've heard about this brand and it, it is a good brand I think, but I really enjoy this one. Uh, I also got this. I really like this because I love highlights. But this comes with, what's it called? It's the Nomad Sydney, Sydney something. Sydney something. But cute, look at those colors. So I guess you would like do some contouring with these, but I usually use this pink and this one. Yeah, love it. And then the other thing I got was this Miami eyeshadow palette. I don't really ever do eyeshadow, but um, it's got some like natural colors, and I have yet to touch it. But yes, that's this one. Cute little. I like that. I actually drew on myself with those eyeliners, and those are pretty durable. Look at that; they're not really smearing. I like that. But then I also had gotten some other brushes from them. I've already used these two, but some little brushes. This one I haven't used yet. And then I also have this one. So some more brushes to add to my collection because I need some new ones. Um, I also got some mascaras and I use these every day because I've yet to have gone to the store to get some. But luckily I got them in my Ipsy boxes. So this one is a triple shot XXL mascara. Um, I really like this one. I usually double up with both of these honestly on my day to day because I just throw on a little mascara, some eyebrows, call it a day. But I really like this one. And it's not really clumpy. I really like the brush. It's pretty basic, I guess. And then this one's smaller, so I like this one to get like in the ridges. And it also makes them a little more wispy or like if they get clumpy, I just take this one and split them up. And then, let's see, I got a couple other face masks that I haven't used yet that I got in one of my boxes. Um, there's Star Skin VIP Diamond Mask and this is a recovering mask, so I haven't used those yet. Um, I also got some lotion, cute. And then there is a after mask. I haven't yet to use this. Why is it doing that? Okay, yeah, you can't really see it, but a mud mask. And then a moisturizing 
So it's always good to moisturize your face. But I've yet to use these items, so I'll have to try them out. Let y'all know. But that is what you get when you subscribe to an Ipsy box. I would say it's um pretty cool. You get a little bit of a uh, beauty products, you get makeup, you get lotion, face masks. Um, but yeah, you guys should maybe like try it out, check it out. Um, new beginners with makeup who don't know what they're doing for people like me. So, so yeah, I would maybe rate Ipsy like an eight. I really like them. Um, I feel like some of the products I've gotten, they could have been a little better. Um, it is a cool box if you don't know anything about makeup and you're still learning, so I do give it that. It gives you a lot of options. It lets you create and pick whatever you want to, like your color scheme, what you're into, what you're not into. It gives you like a one to five rate scale, so you can like rate everything. And they'll pretty much give you items that they know you'll like, which is really cool. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. I'll probably whip up a little video of me doing a quick makeup tutorial on like what my day-to-day -day routine. And I have a couple tricks up my sleeve. I have a friend that will actually be here shortly. And you'll have to stay tuned to learn more about that. But we're going to put something together and I'm going to actually do a full face beat by a queen. And he's probably going to also give me some tips and some pointers on makeup because he's really big into it so stay tuned keep subscribing watching my videos and see where this goes i appreciate y'all watching if you even watch to the end